as the Yankees continue this 2023 offseason, there's a name that just became available that I am more and more thinking the Yankees should go after. What's going on, guys? It's the King of 161st Street. I'm back with another video, and of course, that name is Luis Arise. Luis Arise, the second baseman for the Miami Marlins, last year, the batting champ, was pushing for 400 for a lot of the year. He is one of the best contact hitters of this generation. Him playing in New York could be something special. Now, this would have to mean Glaber Torres is out. And although I love Glaber Torres, there's a few reasons why this makes a lot of sense. Glaber Torres is up in 2024. He will be a free agent at the end of this season. The Yankees still have to try and re-sign Juan Soto. The Yankees still have to make other moves. Glaber Torres is probably not in the Yankees long-term future. So getting value for him right now would be perfect. And two, Luis Arias fits the mold of what the Yankees could use moving forward. He is a contact-oriented hitter that could get on base for guys like Aaron Judge and Juan Soto to drive in. One of the problems we had last year was getting on base for Aaron Judge, so they would just freaking walk him. This year, we're more diverse in that way. Maybe they wouldn't do that type of tactic, but having players on base makes us so much more dangerous, especially with the signing of Juan Soto, especially getting Alex Verdugo, having guys like Aaron Judge, having guys on base gives us more and more chances to get runs. Luis Arise, all he does is get on base, rarely strikes out. He profiles as the perfect number one in a, in a lineup. He profiles as the perfect leadoff hitter. The Yankees right now are projected to have DJ LeMayu as the leadoff hitter. And like I said in a previous video, I really want the Yankees to consider putting Peraza in over DJ and having DJ be more of a platoon hitter. If DJ's more of a platoon hitter, we need a leadoff hitter, even though I want the reins to be given to Oswald. Oswald has not proven enough to be a leadoff hitter. Anthony Volpe has not proven enough to be a leadoff hitter. Luis Arias is the perfect leadoff hitter and would profile perfectly here in New York. And I know what some of you guys are probably saying, you're getting contact, but you're losing so much power. And that's true. You are making some concessions in power. But if you look at the numbers, the numbers are strikingly similar in power numbers. Strikingly, Luis Arise is just the better overall hitter. Now, he does have issues in the field, but so did Glaber Torres at a time. So to me, those issues are what they are. Luis Arise can play first, he can play third, but you would really want him at second base. You want him out of position. That is not as vital. Luis Arise and Glaber Torres are very similar in a lot of ways. In their hitting styles, they are very different. And I believe the Yankees would benefit a lot having a Luis Arise over Glaber Torres. Now, what exactly would it cost to get a guy like Luis Arise? It would probably cost you, of course, Glaber Torres because the Marlins have been super intrigued with getting Glaber Torres over the past couple years. So now that they have someone that we would want, you throw him in that deal, and you'd probably have to give up a guy like Chase Hampton and probably a few of our top-rated young guys like Roderick Adias or someone of that nature, and you would get back a guy like Luis Arise and maybe even a pitcher. A lot of people want the Yankees to get Edward Cabrera. If we're going to do that, we're probably going to have to throw in a lot of prospect capital. But overall, it would make sense for this type of deal. Again, I love Glaber Torres. Like Severino said in his introduction to the Mets, I thought these guys were going to die Yankees. When the time calls, last year was so bad, everyone should should be available. There should be no stone left unturned. This is a stone that I think the Yankees should explore in order to try and succeed in 2024. Just a quick video going over all the things to do with Luis Arise possibly being a Yankee. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did leave a like down below, if you're new here, hit that sub button. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.